welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Um, today I'm going to be updating my um, non-cruelty-free project pan thing, the Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan, that's what it's called, started by Sarah. I'll put her video down below. She's updating every two months and so I started updating every two months just with the products that I have. Um, it's really hard to do it once a month with the other things I have going on. So, I'm sorry, this hair is just, I'm a hot mess today. My kids just left for the weekend, and then my husband and I are having, like, an adult weekend. So, we're going to go see a movie tonight, and so, like, I literally am not prepared for, like, anything in the background. Like, sorry if it's a mess. I'm a mess. I just got done with class and homework and all the things. So I'm just going to go ahead and update y'all on this project pan and upload it. Um, so yeah, I can have it just done and over with. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I finished um, within super recently actually is the L'Oreal Ice Latte um, infallible shadow. Um, I actually ended up repressing this with my um, two other highlighters that I had. Um, I was going to take a picture of it and stuff, but I just, it was such a minimal quick thing that I just wanted to like go, go ahead and do and get over with. And I already used it up. It was already in like, I put it in like one of the pans, use it up. It was really easy. I just put it I was like my highlighter every day and my inner corner highlight. It's just one of those like workhorse products that I was trying to get through. So yeah, it made it go really quick when I used it as a highlighter for sure. So yeah, at least I have one less product um, that's not cruelty free in my collection. So yay. Um, okay, and now I'm taking everyone's advice and I'm gonna start um, weighing products. This one I didn't weigh last time, um, but I haven't used that much of it anyways since last update. It's my L'Oreal Mineral Powder Foundations that I mixed with other powders to kind of make like my perfect powder. Um, I have not been using powder that much lately. Um, there for a while my skin was just kind of freaking out and it was so much easier to just not set my face with powder and just set it with like a very um, long wearing setting spray it just made my life that much easier to do that so I really haven't been using it very often I've just been using it a little bit more often to kind of just get some use out of it and literally all I've been doing is setting like my jawline um, kind of around my nose a little bit under my eyes and then just a little bit on the center of my forehead literally very minimally so this one is probably gonna take me uh, all the way through winter is awful as it sounds but I literally have no other choice um, I am gonna go ahead and put the weight on the screen right now um, we're at 36 grams right now so I'm gonna start weighing it instead of like measuring it that way I can have more of a um, an incentive to like use it to see if I can get some more grams knocked off of there my scale isn't the best but at least if I have a starting weight um, I'll know like for next time if I lose a gram or two at least I know that I like I did something so anyway that's my powder um, the Mac paint pot I weighed it last time uh, as advised um, and it weighed 44 grams and I'm really happy to announce that it now weighs 42 grams. And that's what we're looking like now. Um, I have gone ham on this guy. I use it every single time nearly um, that I do makeup. I'm starting to realize it's not my favorite base. Um, I have really oily eyelids and for some reason it's really drying on my eyes and it really doesn't stop my shadows from creasing. Um, at this point, I'm just using it up. Um, it's just not my favorite to use. So for that reason, I, I mean, I know I'm not gonna repurchase it because they're not cruelty free, but if they decided to go cruelty free, I still probably wouldn't repurchase it just because it's not my favorite. It's just really drying. Um, and yeah, it's just not my favorite. So yeah, at least I got some progress on it though. And then the last thing or last two things I need to update. One of them is going to be kind of a switcheroo, but this is the last thing to update. That's just staying. So it is my L'Oreal Endless Pearl, um, eyeshadow. 
I didn't weigh it last time. Again, I literally go ahead and put a picture up of where it was last time. Um, I didn't weigh it last time and I think I'm going to start weighing it again because I like now to see visual progress and then also see like where it's like weighing. Um, my scale again is not the best but at least it'll give me a rough estimate of how far I've gone. Um, but I recently weighed it and it is now at 14 grams and it's a big difference from how it was last time. Um, again, I just like my um, face, I wasn't setting my eyelids to kind of see if that would help the MAC Paint Pot. And I just realized that it doesn't really do much. And yeah, it just is, it was really getting on my nerves. And so yeah, I just realized that it just wasn't, um, it really didn't make a big difference if I set my eyelids or if I didn't. So I went ahead and just started using it. It really works out. Um, for the best, I guess, with using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. It's a very pigmented palette and this helps them not be so insanely pigmented when I just want like a subdued, subtle look. So hopefully this will be done within the next two months. I don't see this lasting all the way through the end of the year, but at this point, who knows? Um, okay, the last thing I'm gonna update um, I'm actually planning on switching this product out and it's my Estee Lauder blush in brazen bronze um, I'm, I'll go put a picture up of where we were last time um, last time it weighed at 84 grams and I have been using this blush nearly every single day um, I probably could keep using it but I kind of just want to switch things out I've gotten a pretty good chunk of this used up within the last few months. I feel really good about that. It's just I'm getting a little more pale and this really only works in my opinion like more flattering on my skin and more kind of seamless when it is when I have like a darker complexion in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and shelf this guy until summer or spring rolls around again and I start fake tanning um, because for right now yeah, it's just like, eh, like I just want to get some more use out of another blush that's not cruelty free um, and get a pan in that one as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shelf this guy. It is now 82 grams. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it on the scale. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that progress. Um, I'll probably again bring it out at some point. I'll probably put it in a project pan or something. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Okay, and then what I'm adding in to replace that product for now is my um, Benefit um, Dallas blush, which is very appropriate because I'm living in the Dallas area right now. So um, yeah, I just decided to start using this. I have not used it consistently since I purchased it and it's like almost two years old and I find that really ridiculous. So. Uh, yeah, I have it on today. I really like it. I've actually even been using it kind of on my temples um, Instead of like bronzer since I'm so pale right now <laughs> um, But yeah, I really like this blush. It's starting off at 40 grams. So I find that pretty reasonable I don't know how much it is brand new it's Saying the product is nine grams. So I'm assuming that with packaging and everything it's all 40 grams, but Again, my scale is not very accurate. So yeah, we're starting off with it almost nearly like brand new. I've used it a handful of times. Um, I really would like to hit pan in this and get as much use as I possibly can while it is cold outside. Um, I will probably keep this guy in the project um, along with other blushes pretty much as long as I can keep it in. Kind of like I, what I did with the Estee Lauder blush. So that way um, I can get some good, decent use out of it and hopefully I can hit pan in it and like use it up because again, that's the whole point of this project. But I mean, the hitting pan is goal. So yeah, I'm excited that I'm adding a new blush in, getting some more use out of it. So we'll see where that take it, takes us. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Sorry, I'm a hot mess today, guys. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> so I'm like all over the place right now. Um, so yeah, that's my update. Um, I hopefully can, um, keep this like every two months. 
again, I'm going through school right now and next semester, I don't know if I'll be starting nursing school or not. So we'll see where this project takes us. I've been enjoying doing it so far. I like watching other people do it as well. It's nice going through and getting rid of all of my non-cruelty free products. It makes me feel better about myself. And also I'm just using up products in general that need to be used up. So that's always a bonus. But yeah, um, I'll go ahead and link her video down below. I don't know how to add like a whole like, cause I wish I could add the whole um, uh, playlist, I guess. I don't know if she made a playlist or not, but I'll link her video down below and she'll have more information about um, other creators that are also doing this project pin if y'all wanna check those out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. I'm probably going to do a get ready with me soon. If y'all want to see a certain look, um, go ahead and comment down below. I'll do whatever y'all want me to do. Um, I'm just feeling like doing a get ready with me probably sometime next week. So yeah, just let me know. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all later and bye.